Hi everybody. Hi, hi, hi Vikings. How are you all doing? Hope everyone is doing just fine. On today's video, we are going to be talking about Sang Di Long. Yeah, she's a Cameroonian actress. And also, she's the lady who got married to Cyril. And their marriage has been filled with so many consternations from one trouble to the other. And that we all know, like we popularly call them on the media, the 38 million couple. Yeah, some days ago, she celebrated her birthday and uh, I noticed that nobody posted about it. Yeah, no YouTuber, nobody, like very few persons posted about her birthday. And um, I was really kind of observant. I was really observing on the media to see how many YouTubers are going to post her on her birthday. So I didn't see that. That's why I'm making this video now. At the end of this video, I'm going to say some things about this whole thing. Yeah, so, but from us in this villa house, we want to wish uh, Sang Zilong a happy birthday and we pray and wish for all her troubles to come to an end in Jesus' name. Yeah, moving on to talk about our next 237 celebrity, Muriel Blanche. Yeah, we all know Muriel Blanche. For those who do not know her, she is a Cameroonian actress and uh, she has also been in the movie industry in Cameroon for a while now. And uh, also, like, um, five days ago, she celebrated her birthday. And then during that celebration, I saw a post on the media saying that for her birthday, she has decided to sponsor some orphans to school. Yeah, because we all know that now is um, the back-to-school period in Cameroon. And so she took upon herself to sponsor some kids to school. Actually, these kids are orphans. And that's her only two way to reach out to these kids because these kids actually need our help and support. It's not all about uh, just slaying on the media and you cannot even help others out. And we also remember that of recent, she uh, just buried her father. Yeah, a few days ago, she buried her father. And after the burial, it was her birthday and she didn't have a very uh, lavish uh, celebration instead she decided to support kids some orphan kids to sponsor them in school and that's a really good thing we say happy birthday to Muriel Blanche yeah moving on to talk about um, Gasanina she's a CEO of she was the CEO of uh, Nina Cuisine may her soul continue to rest in peace yeah, I am bringing Nina into this because when Nina was alive, nobody posted her, nobody talked about her. But when she died, she trended in death so badly. That's just to say that uh, bad news really sells. Yeah, that's why I decided to bring this up because all these ladies you see on this poster, Sang Zilong, Murel Blanche, Villa Mama, Beige Kelly, and a host of others, they have celebrated their birthdays and nobody really celebrated them. That's just to tell you that excuse me that's just to tell you guys that bad news really sells yeah bad news really sells because now they are alive people are not celebrating them but had it been that something awful happened to them and then you see it on every block on the media everyone is going to share their post and talk about them and say all sorts of trash about them just like it happened with Ngasa Nina when Nina was alive people didn't talk much about her but when she died all kinds of stories and all blogs posted her. So that's just to tell you guys that bad news really sells. Moving on to talk about our own 237 rapper. Um, Askia, we all know that some months ago, is it one or two months ago, Askia came to the media and she was like, oh, I'm taking off some days or some time off the media because I want to have more family time with my husband and my child. Yeah, um, of recent, she came back to the media and then I saw her or I spotted her. She has gained so much weight. Her jaws are all puff. Is it puffy or puff puffy? I don't know how to say that, but she's really looking so swollen. Like she ate some, I don't know what to say, but she has really gained so much weight. And you can really see that. And uh, so many of her fans have been dragging her on the media as well because there was this homecoming concert 
that she had with um is it uh tizzy panchak and then she was spotted in a winter jacket and some of her fans were laughing at her and were like oh i don't know why aska is wearing this jacket is it winter in cameroon after this harsh weather <laughs> it's like there is um scorching sun in cameroon and then uh, aska was pictured in in that winter uh, jacket and so some of her fans were dragging her on the media and saying all sorts of things yeah whatever the case is i don't know moving on to talk about caro and copies yeah the one and only married people in cameroon yeah we all know them and they have been giving us back to back they've been putting smiles on our faces on their many comedy skits yeah and uh, today I saw this video or these pictures on the media and some have been saying that they are married. Some are saying that it's acting, but others are saying, I don't know. But I just came across this picture as well and I was like, oh, when I saw this picture, I was really wondering, like, are these two actually dating or are they really getting married? Like, like seriously, what's really going on? And then I went down in the comment section to check out some comments from their fans. People were really confused. Some were just saying that, oh, they are, they are married. Some were saying it's, it's a comedy. Some say it's photo shoot, blah, blah, blah. But for me, I think that this is just um, a costume or maybe a set in one of their kids. Yeah, because the... Because uh, uh, had it been that this was... Um, marriage in real life i think that maybe they would have talked about this on their facebook page or maybe they would have gone live to talk about it or even during the the wedding ceremony i think that uh someone must have gone live on their page to update their fans that they are actually getting married so i really think that this is just a comedy skit and yeah so uh but for now i cannot really say what was really going on on the picture but i think it's um a comedy skit because if you look at even the the decorations the background it doesn't really look like it's um a real wedding i can say that yeah it just looks kind of a makeshift background or decorations kind of so i think that they were just having some kind of um comedy skit or they were just shooting um a skit yeah because even when you look at the picture when caro held and caro held uh sorry when copies held caro and then if you look at the way they are smiling at each other yeah they always smile at each other <laughs> like that and it's always very beautiful and so many people wish that uh maybe these two should really get along or maybe these two should really start dating each other but I don't really know if they are actually dating or this is just for comedy or whatsoever. Yeah, and when I looked also at the picture when um they were kissing. <laughs> yes, the picture when Caro, uh, where Copies held Caro and they were kissing. If you look at that kiss very keenly, it's a fake kiss. Don't ask me what I mean by fake kiss, okay? When you see real kiss when you see wet kiss you will understand what i'm trying to talk about here but if you look at the way caro and copies the way they just twisted their lips and they were trying to make it look real and then see the way uh copies held caro and see the way copies twisted his mouth as well and then look at uh, caro's lips and then you will know that okay this is really acting because this cannot be true because if this is really your husband that you're getting married to your husband, then I think that that kiss is going to be more real. But this one looks like it's a makeshift kiss. <laughs> yeah, this one looks like it's really acting. So whatever the case is, I wish them uh, many more projects to come. I cannot say marriage life because... They are not married anyway. This is this was just for comedy. So I wish there are many more projects to come and may their comedy career move from one level to the other. And if you look at uh, Kopisi's suit and Caro's gown, wow, it was so 
wonderful but i think that uh Kopis's coat suits this kind of um showbiz events not a wedding event actually yeah that's my opinion you have your own opinion and you can as well drop that you can drop your opinion down in the comments section so guys this is the little gist i had for us today we've talked about sang Long's birthday we've also talked about morel blanche We've talked about um, Gasanina when she was alive. Not many people celebrated her, but when she died, many people celebrated. Many people posted. Let me not say celebrated. Many people posted and they were writing, making all sorts of writes up, write tops about her. But now, if you look at these other ladies, they've been celebrating their birthdays or they've just had their birthdays but not so many people talked about them not so many people celebrated them that's just to tell you that bad news really sells so guys thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up like this video share this video and i'm going to see you guys in my next one until then stay blessed and i love you all so so very much yeah, uh, I am still going to make another video to talk about Hazel Ayuk's travel and uh, many more things which are happening on the media. So for now, I'll leave you guys with this one to digest for now. So thank you and bye-bye.